Welcome to Desktop Dungeons. This is my uh, my new final release Let's Play of Desktop Dungeons, and I'm really, really excited about it. I love this title screen. I love all the little details going on here. Uh, it's actually really nice, and I really, really enjoy the fact that I'm going to be starting this game over again from the beginning. Um, yeah, there's there's a lot to do here. And let me just kind of explain how I want to go about doing this Let's Play, since I've already played through the game once. Uh, I'm going to be doing some tutorials this time. I did a few last time, but this time I'm planning on doing almost a dungeon-by-dungeon dungeon tutorial system as I progress through the game, making sure to explain how to beat each dungeon along the way at least once. And I'll be putting those in a separate playlist that people can have fun with, do whatever. I also want to do some challenge runs. Uh, there's some pretty cool achievements that I have not done. In my previous playthrough, I did do an, a little thing where I only beat the boss to defeat a level. But something I've never done is beat a boss at level 1. And one of the Steam achievements is to do that. So I've got to figure that out. Um, game giveaways. Yes, I will be giving away a lot of Steam keys with this series. Um, not all of them for desktop dungeons. This episode will be giving away a desktop dungeon Steam key, and I'll explain how to do that later, um, or how to enter for that later. It's just one Steam key, but uh, I don't have that many viewers, so if you enter, there's a good chance of winning, you know. Uh, but I'll be giving away Steam keys kind of throughout this entire series. Mainly because while doing the previous series, lots of people sent me Steam keys, and I have a whole bunch of excess ones for games that I already own. So uh, I've thanked those people and, you know, offered to give it back, but ultimately, you know, may as well just give them away kind of randomly. I've got a, a, a whole ton of them. So I, I'm thinking at least once a week I'm going to be giving away a Steam key uh, for a random indie game that someone's given me or, you know, something else. I have. Hammer watch. I have so many hammer watch keys. I don't know why. Like someone bought a bunch of them and give, gave them to me. Um, so I'm gonna give them some of those away. I'm gonna be giving some speedrunner away. Uh, I don't have the whole list of spare steam steam keys that I have in front of me, but uh, it should be interesting. It should be fun. It's a nice thing to do on the channel since I can do that now. But uh, yes, this episode will be giving away a desktop dungeons key that I also got for free. So that should be fantastic. All right, so we're gonna be starting up a new kingdom here. Jayton is done, uh, Jaytopolis. I want to delete that and create a new one, which will also be called Jaytopolis because that other Jaytopolis is something I totally glitched out somehow. Uh, and let's launch into the story from the beginning as it's meant to be, create new. The story begins. Creatures attacked in the night. The caravan was unprepared. Travelers had been warned about the unexplored ruin realms, but pride often plays tricks on reason. Flames and blood engulfed the defenders, nomads, exiles, and vagabonds, with only a handful of real fighters among them. Injured, ill-trained, and separated from one another, many of the survivors had no choice but to press on into a nearby network of maze-like caverns. Alright, so we're launching into tutorial. I've got one health. This should not be a problem. I know if I die here, I go into the extended tutorial. Um, I've actually done that. It's got some witty dialogue and it's pretty fun, but uh, no need, really, for an extended tutorial. I'm not going to put you guys through that. Uh, if you get the game, you can tutorialize on your own. I actually recommend doing it once, though, because it is a whole lot of fun. So I believe here... Um, there's going to be, like, a level 5 enemy, and that's all I have to kill. Should be fine. And, yeah, tutorial is fun. Tutorial is easy. Tutorial is for everyone. And this should level me up. Yes. And that'll allow me to kill my friend here, and move diagonally, grabbing our bonuses. If you don't know how to play the game, if you're very new to it, I should probably describe what I'm doing. Uh, you kill monsters, you level up, you explore to regenerate health. Um, later on, you're going to pick up items to augment your abilities, give you spells to cast, all kinds of fun. Here's one of those items, for instance. Burn Duraz, which is your standard fireball spell. It's great for killing blobs, which just showed up. So, you know, it's 
a really fun kind of trope following dungeon crawler. Um, this game is a whole lot of fun. If you're very, very new to it, I recommend go to Steam and buy it. Seriously. I've played it for over a hundred hours. It's fantastic. And I say all this, I'm probably going to die here in the tutorial as a result of me kind of bragging about how much I've played it. I'm not the best player of the game that exists. I will say that for sure. Alright, I'm level 5, and ooh, uh, a pendant of health. Those are pretty nice for killing higher level foes. Like this guy, for instance, who I'm not going to go after. Orb of Lucery. Oh, no, that's a Sensation Stone. Really nice for conversions. Ups your attack because you're human. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to tutorialize all the mechanics of the game here. I'm just going to say, you know, burn draz, fireballs. Explore, regenerate health. Also, your enemies regenerate health. It's a great way to do stuff. I uh, will hit him and fireball him and explore a bit and hit him again and fireball him again and win. There we go. And that's how we fight our enemies right there. Uh, we do the best we can with what we have. I can hit this guy a couple times and fireball him. Explore over here. Uh, I hit him again, fireball him again, and win. Make good use of your resources and all that. Um, this guy would level me. It doesn't seem necessary at the moment. Uh, and here's a boss, Bleat. Can I take a hit from him? Yes. And then I could... Well, that was probably a mistake. I should probably just level up to four, not, not try to be fancy or anything. This is the tutorial, after all. So let's just kill this one off. Get a nice fireball going. Now I'm level four. Got some easy kills coming. These level threes. Uh, safe to hit him and win. It puts me up to 12. Uh, another safe hit and win. This is death. Alright. That's death. Alright. So I need to explore up some health. I'll kill this one. I will injure this dude right here. Hmm. No good dudes to injure. Uh, there's a potion. I suppose I could pick that up for no reason. Uh, I don't want to go after him. I want to level up kill like on the freaking tutorial just to be funny. Alright, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to fireball this guy. Oops, I won. Alright, I better kill this guy then. Um, yeah, it's easy, easy pickings, really. And I could just leave, but why do that when there's treasure to be had? Yeah, I, I played the tutorial fairly recently, if you can't tell. I know where everything's at and what everything is. I know this is a big splotch of unexplorable territory, which I don't get. You know, it would seem there'd be a way. But I'm going to kill him, kill this dude, and this dude, because I'm, I'm a big completionist like that. Like killing all the guys off, seeing what's hidden around every corner. Maybe it's more money after all. And that's enough. So we're going to grab our goat horn and exit. Uh, no, we're not going to do the basic tutorial. Onward! Alright, the aftermath. Many perished in the days and weeks following the attack. Some were slaughtered by cave denizens. Others became trapped or lost. Stronger survivors prevailed against the darkness, banding together to establish a crude outpost in the heart of the wilderness. If this fledging, fledgling settlement is to survive beyond its first few weeks, its people will need a reliable and well-trained force of heroes to keep enemies at bay. This is where your job begins. As the elected administrator of this rabble, yes, I like it when we just call them rabble, it will be up to you to expand the settlement and recruit the heroes needed to defend your people. Alright. Wow, I haven't seen this for a little while. It's cool seeing the empty kingdom screen. Most honorable administrator, I've been elected by the good people of the settlement to tell you what to do in order to tell everyone else what to do. Uh, you may consider me an advisor of sorts, because you are an advisor. Your new position gives you responsibility over our collected funds and efforts. This represents the resources we've managed to scrounge together so far. 150 gold, probably just enough for an upgrade. Your current task is ensuring our survival, so I recommend investing our limited funds in training and arming some real defenders click on the outpost and upgrade the fighter fighters are heroes who go about hitting evil things for a living 
They're generally good at surviving long enough to brag about it afterwards. He's just telling me to upgrade. Um, it all has to begin somewhere. You have the gold and you have the means. Yeah, upgrade. There's actually no way to read that, is there? Upgrade complete. Administrator, remember this moment well, for you have just taken your first tentative steps down a long and glorious path. Under your guidance, these survivors will build a kingdom to challenge the gods themselves. Click to continue. The class unlocked fighter. Admirable clicking and spending, noble administrator. You've just unlocked the fighter class. These hardy warriors are superior to common guards in several ways. They excel in hunting down opponents and gaining experience quickly. And since this is a reboot, oh, quest unlock, trophy hunting. Administrator, our scouts have discovered some monster lairs in the surrounding area. It is time to take the fight to them. Let's have our heroes load up and move out. They can return when they have some monsters heads, some monster heads or, and or other souvenirs of victory. Click for more. Well, that sounds like an interesting prospect. Oh, sorry for buttering, butting in. We'll chat later. All right. Don't know who that was actually. Are you ready to send someone on their next adventure? Just select a dungeon and we'll get to filling out hero's permit form. All right, I'll go to Vince's vault. Great, just confirm your selection here. It's legal requirement of our, all right, select. And let's go about recruiting a dungeon hero that's, all right, since this is my first time really with the regular classes again, I'll go over all the bonuses the first time I use a class. So, humans get a 10% attack bonus for every 100 conversion points. They're great for fighting and great towards the end game when you've converted a lot of stuff. Fighters level up a lot easier. They start with a death protection, which is pretty good actually as an ability. And um, they can find enemies, which are equal lower level. I've not found too much great use for that, except just knowing how many enemies there are around. But fighters are okay. Uh, the, your, new, your new hero has been bureaucratically cleared. Have them sally forth by clicking here. Let's play. Okay. Oh wow, there's a wanna fight right there. This should be pretty easy. You're playing a human fighter, 10% attack bonus, instincts veteran pit dog. I just explained all that. You can also get an updated information. Yay, wanna fight. Pick it up. Cast it. That's what we do. Uh, right there and right there. He's covering the gold, but I won't need all the gold. And yep, cast again. So we're going to be one of fighting a lot here. Uh, here, I'm gonna go this way with it. I really like one of fight. It's a great, great thing. Dungeon hint, Writer's Guild number guide memo one. When fighting monsters, pay attention to the combat indicator on the right. If it says death, you probably shouldn't attack. Yes. Yes, I understand. Um, we're going to go here and cast one. Oh, we can't yet. All right, that's fine. I'll cast it here instead. You get a nice pile of stuff built up. Biceps is great. Just cast that and explore there. A couple wanna fights. Excellent. Hey, adventurer. Hey, over here. Yeah, it's me, the dungeon boss. Come on, just try to hit me with a fireball. I dare you. Ha ha ha, you suck. Vince the Invincible. Ah, uh, he's just got a little bit of magic resistance and he's only level five. He needs to calm down with all that you suck stuff. On the other hand, I'm level one, so who am I to say anything? All right, I don't want to waste the exploration, so I'll go there, and just like that, here we go, more stuff. Okay, so I've gotten all the level ones at this point, which is good. Uh, what's this say? Dungeon Hit Riders, casting fireball means a free attack. Um, there's a sub dungeon there, which I should probably check out. Passage go. Uh, I'll check that out later. Wish I could kill this guy, but I don't have fireballs yet. Um, I can go after this guy at least. That'd leave me barely alive. Nope, still can't kill him, I don't think. He heals a bit faster than me. Oh, there's my fireballs. Good. Alright, pick that up. And now I should be able to actually kill some things. Like this guy, for instance, probably. But definitely the meat man. So let's go after the meat man first. Get our fireball off. And again, just for fun. Nah, I'll leave one do like that. I'll hit this guy a couple more times. And now I can get two fireballs to finish him off. Yay. Starting off with a level 2 kill levels up your fire er, immediately. I believe you need more kills than that for anyone but a fighter. Fighters are great. Okay, so 
what do we want to do now? More wanna fighting, probably. So, wanna fight. Wanna fight. Wanna fight. All the wanna fights. There we go. Um, probably don't want to go ahead and go after a meat man. Am I mono burn or something? Oh, no, I'm not. I'm just being silly. Oh, there's more stuff. I can just convert. That's fine. Convert, wanna fight, get attack bonus. Convert, wanna fight, get attack bonus. That's actually pretty great. So, yeah, I'll just cast this some more. And explore over here. More biceps, which is pretty fantastic. And, okay, so I've got all the level 2s. Um, I can go after level 3s, or I could try to kill this meat man. If I cast biceps, and then explore a bit, get up to 12. And right there, that puts me at 12. I might be able to take on this meat man. It's silly. Like, there's no reason for me to. But hey, let's try it. For shiggles. And only for shiggles. So that brought him down to 28. Um, how much damage is he doing? 11? This is probably a horrible mistake. And if I lose this dungeon because I'm a dum dum. You know, I deserve it, I suppose. Here we go, 9. He does 11 damage, so I should go ahead. And I can fireball him one more time. I could barely win now, but... Let's get up to 12. Hit him. Do one more fireball. Get up to 12. And win. Perfect. Alright, that was some silliness right there. There was no reason for that nonsense at all. So, let's start summoning again. I think my goal here is apparently to... I don't know why I even did that. Uh, I think I'm just trying to get as many levels as freaking possible, is what I'm trying to do here. There's no way I can ding max, but why not have fun with it while you can, right? So hit and fireball. Go ahead and kill that level 10. Alright. So, I'm not going to be able to kill another higher level guy. I can take these guys out in one hit though, and they're free kills, free levels, yay. Um, no more wanna fighting, so I'll just kill this guy to level, that was fun, and I could kill this guy to level as well, get a little bit of exploration going, I suppose I should go down here and get that remaining exploration as well. I don't want to waste any, so I'll just go here. Actually, let's go down here again and summon. Yeah, I can kill him. Oh, what's he got? A fine sword. That's really nice. What is it? Oh, I wasn't supposed to... I was supposed to figure out how to kill him using one fight, I suppose. I already knew that trick. Um, hmm. Do we want to go after this guy already? I think we do. So one hit, two hit, barely win. So we're going to use our death protection on that one. Become level five. And summons there we go everyone is slowed which is where we like for them to be no one else can possibly offer us extra experience so let's just kill everything and see how high of a level we can get here oh well, we got up to six and you and you and you and you and I don't think I can get past seven which is unfortunate but whatever let's exit and take our 150 gold uh, this was actually a recent edition. I really like how the end of game screen ended up. Looks like I had 42 completely wasted tiles. But uh, that's all. That's pretty good actually. Only 42 wasted tiles. Um, max difference in level was 2. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'll continue on and be happy. Looks like I didn't sell that fine sword. Quest complete, trophy hunting, victory, your hero parades, parades to the muddy streets of your rapidly growing settlement, goat horn clasped in one mailed fist, rose petals and jubilant shouts alike fill the air as town folk cut, come out to celebrate, yes I have to move my mouse and not just make up what it says, amidst the glee a lone figure approaches you as you recline in your administrator's parade viewing chair, hi there, oh it's the guy from earlier with the patchwork face. I can't help but notice the sheer amount of fun you're all having with that chunk of monster skull. 
I happen to have a business proposal related to that. This may seem rather forward, but I was once a renowned taxidermist in the surrounding realms. And yes, taxidermy becomes the primary source of income for your kingdom. And I know a lot of very rich buyers who would love a mounted beastie head of some kind hanging over their fireplace bragging rights and all that. Long story short, I'd like to buy that trophy from you. I have the gold right here. The new kingdom needs some kind of income, right? Well, work with me and we can build an entire economy around hunting and slaying evil. I'm pretty sure that this will turn into a long and mutually profitable relationship. Patchwork face, man. I agree. Alright, so we sold. We have 199 gold and unlocked guild expansion. There's more than one way to slay the average population of dungeon monstrosities, and the kingdom is one of the diverse talents and interests. I messed up that sentence all kind of ways. Magic users, holy men, and even common cut, cut purses are interested in fighting the good fight. Especially if there's money involved. Alright, monster trophies are valuable, source for, of kingdom income. Uh, second guild, upgrading this structure will give you priests. This gives you wizards, and this gives you thieves. Select a new building to upgrade now. I like the idea of thieves. So, upgrade. Very, very nice. Class unlocked, thief. Quest complete, guild expansion. Quest unlocked, city expansion. Wow. Our brave new kingdom is in, still in grave peril. The denizens of nearby dungeons are breathing down our necks. If a brave hero wanders in and slays the leader, in each area the rest should be demoralized enough to scatter. Most aut autonomous and independently thinking administrator, I believe you've learned enough to start performing kingdom duties in whichever way you most see fit. See most fit. I'll still be on hand to advise you when new matters come up, but from here on you may consider your own actions and opportunities openly. I mess up so many sentences. Have fun. Yay. Okay. Um, yeah, we're just going to continue on. And Thousand Cuts seems like a good place to go. The Cave of Thousand Cuts receives its name from the Dread Monster Lord, which resides here. While not particularly vicious, his endurance makes him difficult to kill outright. Okay. Now I'm going to talk about uh, how to enter to win a free desktop dungeon Steam Key. And that is just put the name of the... In, in, I'm coming up with it off the top of my head, so I have to think, sorry. Uh, just put a name of an indie game in the comments, and why it's an indie game that you've been playing recently, and uh, why it's such a good game. Just uh, name an indie game that you've been play playing recently, and explain why it's fun. And uh, that should be good enough, you know, just to make it seem like a contest, but it's really not. It's going to be anyone who enters has an equal chance of winning. And multiple entries will not get you an extra chance. So just one comment, please, uh, on that. Anyway, you can comment on other things if you like. All right, Thousand Cuts. Easy. Select. And I'm going to finish the entire tutorial part here. So human. Thief. Yay. Play. It rhymed. All right, money. And stuff. And dudes to kill later. And want to fight. Oh, that's wait, what? That's not want to fight. All right, switching places with this guy. Let me see, which I won't use at all because I'm lazy I suppose all right and more of that and I'll be using a lot of weight what it looks like so let's switch places with him and there's nothing over there there's some attack boost right there um, no way of attacking that yet I need to find my fireballs or yeah it still takes three hits to kill him so I do need fireballs switch places with him though and I could win that fight for no reason. And switch places with him. Go over here. A little bit of exploration. Ooh, look, a staircase down. Um, I'm not going to go down, but it is a staircase. Switch places with that guy. Power myself up a bit. Would love to find fireballs. It would make things easier. I know they're here. They're always here. Switch places with this guy, because he's in my way. There they are. All right, pick up, and yeah, I'll grab that as well. Uh, who do I want to go after? Probably this one. I'm gonna hit him and fireball him, and he has nine do total damage. So I'm gonna go here, and then here, and then hit this guy and fireball him. And I'm gonna go right here and fireball him again for the win. Perfect. 
And you see, I'm not a fighter, so I didn't level up on that one kill. Which isn't terrible, you know, I'm still doing okay. I'm not sad by it. Oh, I, I can't actually cast spells that I don't have enough mana for yet. Uh, Dungeon Hint Writer's Guild. Don't forget to explore sub-dungeons. Yeah, I should probably do that. But, not at the moment. Right now, I'm going to switch places with this guy. Then I'm going to head over here, convert that burn dress, because I've already got one. Um, what else should I do? I should probably level up. So hit this guy a few times. Why am I doing this? Oh yeah, he is higher level than me. Okay. I was I lost my mind for a second there and thought that I was level 2. Alright, I'll do that and hit this guy again and fireball him for the win and the level. Yay! Uh, what next? I will probably be switching places with this guy. And going right there. And there's another white what that I can just convert over. Grab some extra attack damage. That's always fun. Uh, a couple hits on this guy and a fireball or two. Just one. That's good. Foul nemesis, it appears as though you have discovered my base of operations. I cannot suffer your presence and allow you to live. Sir Digby the Goat. He's totally a boss. And he is kind of boss. You know, 162 health. That's pretty good. Pretty good. I don't see any other threes, level threes hanging around. Uh, which is unfortunate. Grab that. I'll convert that as well. Can I take on a level four? Not, not yet. Um, I'm going to go there and there for no reason. I might be able to take on this level 4 with a fireball. Uh, if I had some extra exploration, it would be easier. Uh, we'll go here. How much damage are you doing, sir? And I'm going to keep that because I'll be at over 11 probably before I hit 12, you know. And there, and fireball. Okay, I need to get above 11 health. So I'm going to go down here, grab some gold. Puts me at 12, which is fantastic, exactly where I needed to be. Hit and fireball for the win. Yay! Two level higher kills are fun for everyone. And I can now kill this guy. Two hits and a fireball, yay. Alright, more exploration. Grabbing these boosters as I see them. And, hmm... I don't see any more level 4s around, which is kind of scary. Let's switch places with some guys like you to get rid of your fast movement. And there's a level 4 I can just easily beat down. I don't know why I fireballed him. It was just to waste less tiles ultimately, I guess. I don't know, because I'm dumb. That's why I fireballed him. Uh, Sir Digby, he's going to be a little tough, but, uh, you know... It's not that bad, big of a deal. I can level off what's showing right now, which is pretty good. Let's see here. I can switch places with him. Grab up this mana potion. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and kill Sir Digby, I think. Whenever possible, get full health. Uh, actually, that's sometimes a real bad idea. So I'm going to do that, grab that gold, and go after Sir Digby directly. So two hits, a couple fireballs. And then I'll just go on a little killing spree. Yeah, even the unslowed guy gets killed in the end. Level 5 me kills Digby very easily. Yay, and I don't wanna I don't wanna leave the dungeon yet. I wanna continue my explorations, converting things like let me see. Achievement unlocked un recycler. That's good. I like being the recycle man. Uh boop boop. Boop, boop. That's pretty much an automatic achievement anyway, if you ever play as Tinker, I suppose. But that's much later in the game. Tinker shows up. Not right now. And anything over here of interest? No, no money. Let's go down here, grab the last cash. Bang, bang. Very nice. Okay. And out we go. That's dungeon number two. And I'm going to do all of the tutorial in this happy thing. So, 220 gold. Continue. I will go with the Mage Tower. Oh, new building available. Hail, most industrious kingdom administrator, a local blacksmith. Unsatisfied with the extremely poor sales of farming equipment, has a business proposal to bolster, bolster your heroes in your kingdom. The heroes in your kingdom. When you're interested, pay a visit to the supply store. Goat. Yay. Okay. Now we're going to upgrade this Mage Tower and do the last dungeon on the list. Class unlocked wizard. And I didn't actually talk about the thief and their abilities. 
before I fought there, but Stabber, plus 30% damage on the first attack, or when enemies have first health anyway, full health. Uh, extra items on the map, which is actually extremely useful, and health and mana potions restore both health and mana, but keep in mind they only cure one thing, so health still only cures poison, and mana still only cures mana burn, but it's still a fairly useful ability if you're using potions. Okay. Uh, wizards, on the other hand, start with a fireball, which is great. And they have better use of it because it's at minus one cost, so they can cast two of them right away. Um, faster burning stacks, which can be useful. And they can see the locations of all glyphs, which is actually extremely useful. So let's select this place. It's the magic land, where you need magical trickery to win. I should probably read the dungeon description. The badlands. This realm belongs to a creature so terrifying and deadly that it is said he can fell even the mightiest of warriors with a single blow. Magic and cunning are required to prevail. Yes, magic and cunning, that's me. Oh, get in there's here, so that's fantastic. That's magic and cunning all by itself. And yeah, there's end is wall, which makes everything easier. And let's get rid of that end is wall because I don't need it. And let's start casting end is wall because we're gonna be exploring. Alright, so pick that up, and I'll cast in this wall as well. Am I above 65% yet? No, so I may as well just keep casting it. I'm going to head towards the remaining glyphs. Maybe I should actually pick them all up before I, uh, I convert anything, because that would give me extra conversion, I believe. Uh, get in there. Is that enough to kill you? Not quite, but the fireballs it is. I'm actually not going to do that yet though, I'm going to get all my conversion done. So let's grab this, and then pick up these, and this, and this, and this. Alright, so that, now I have all the things, I only need one of each, so, you know, you go away, and you go away, and you go away. There we go. So I have one of everything that I need, and I can most certainly kill my friend here, so hit, hit and fireball fireball happiness and there's my level five I d i'm not sure what he said but he's probably says something like i'm gonna kill you in one hit because i saw the words one hit real big um 12 mana it's pretty good i don't want to go after a level whatever so i'm going to continue my explorations until i hit level three or run into a level two enemy or something like that like this guy for instance there we go. Easy enough kill. Uh, now there's this level 3 up here, which I can do the same thing to. And get in there for that victory. That happy, happy victory. Uh, go down here. Some gold and extra exploration. Uh, about conversion panels, I guess. And I can just kill this guy the same way. Level 3-ness is great. I don't want to kill these. I can't move things around, which always makes me a little bit upset. Get in there is such a fantastic glyph. It's hard to uh, pay attention to anything when you have it, because you're going to win. So hit, hit, and just save a little bit of health regeneration. And now I'm level 4. This guy can still kill me in one hit. So, and I've probably taken out the level 4s for the most part. Um... End his wall, I suppose, is how you deal with him. And when I say I suppose is how you deal with him, I'm almost certain of it. And I don't really feel like I need all this popcorn anymore. It's kind of pointless, actually. Uh, let's see here. I can now take a hit, but I want to be at full mono when I do, and full defense. So I'm going to do that as well. Pick this up, and get up to full mono. So I can get uh, you know a few hits, maybe better than just one hit. So I get one hit that way, and then I use my end is wall, like so, to maybe survive another hit. No, no, it's not quite enough, which is unfortunate. Um, how much damage does he do? 75. I've got 25, and I've only got 40% resistance going on, so I would have to do a little bit of stuff to survive that hit. I'll go ahead and cast it in there since I'm trying to level myself now. Uh, which may not work. I don't think I actually have enough on the screen to level. It's unfortunate. 
Alright, 33, is that enough? No, no it's not. He's gonna heal, which is not the best. Uh, I could end his wall again, which would allow me to hit him. Well, I'm just gonna do it this way then. And this and this. Now I'm gonna use end his wall like that. It's still death, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna do that anyway. There we go. All right, I can't believe I actually had to pause and think during one of these. And I use potions? I feel bad now. Uh, but using potions isn't actually a suboptimal way to play. It's just another way to do things and accomplish your goals. I'm just slightly embarrassed. All right, here we go. I'm gonna pick up this. It's actually less money for me, I think, if I use potions, though. Because you, you take the potions out with you and you sell them. All right, and that's full exploration, yay. Exit. And with that, I believe, we will have completed the tutorial. Continue. Quest complete, city expansion. I consider city expansion quest the tutorial. Congratulations, you've defeated the three terrible goat lords of the surrounding dungeons. And your kingdom breathes a collective sigh of relief. Unfortunately, you're running up against a new problem. As you take the spoils of your hero's dungeon exploits back to the kingdom treasure vault, you notice it's becoming a teensy bit full. I've only got 151 gold, dude. It's time for the official vault to expand beyond the confines of that old couch in your spare bedroom. For now, you'll need to focus on finding a better source of cash security and hiding it in random pots across town simply won't do. Rumors abound in the local tavern that mysterious creatures known as bankers have been sighted in these realms. If you catch one, maybe you can harness its power in some way. Reward? A new dungeon? Trophy sold? Yes. Now I've got 300 gold, I suppose. Alright. Now that you're going further afield, quests and dungeons, yay. Uh, quest unlocked dangerous investments. Field reports say that a well-dressed creature has been sighted in the den of danger, allegedly trying to assess its value on the real estate market. It's said to be somewhat magic resistant and very prone to financial jargon. Battle and defeat the banker roaming here and we may be able to unlock some of its financomancy secrets. Click to continue. Uh, also venture capital. Although Venture Cave is well known as a gathering point for deadly adventure slayable beasts, it also tends to be a meeting point for dubious dealers and good smugglers. Trackers are almost certain that you'll find a banker wandering around here. Challenge and defeat it. Alright, Mac screen. I could just click on one of these, but I'm not going to do this. Uh, I'm going to back out as soon as it lets me. I'm going to do that and that and that. We're going to go through this tutorial of him pointing at stuff, and then we're going to cancel. All right, guys, this has been the first episode of the new series. Next time we'll be doing a couple of dungeons, probably Dangerous Investments and Venture Capital, just to get us started. And we'll also be uh, unlocking the priest at the beginning of next level. So look forward to that, and thanks for watching.